Hello everyone. In this video here, we have a Tama lesson, okay? And today what we'll be talking about uh, is the conditional. Those of you who don't know what conditional is, conditional is the word if. If you do this, if you do that. Okay, that, that's the conditional. And uh, let's see here. Essentially, I should. Uh, essentially, the conditional in Talmud would be this I. Okay. I assume those of you who are watching this video already, you guys are already able to read Talmud. So, this, you, you guys know this letter here is I. Okay. So, essentially, it will be this letter. This is just the initial letter. Just, you know, just, just let you guys know if you don't remember. This is an initial letter. So when you want to form a conditional, pretty much uh, what you want to do is take this I and you want to attack it at the end of the past, the verbs past them. For example, let's take this word uh, ba, which is come. Okay, ba, we've seen this, this word here before in that first dialogue in the first chapter. Ba. This, this means come, okay? And the past, the, the past them of ba will be uh, bond, bond. If you look up in the, if you have the Tamil book I showed you before, if you look up, if you look in the back of the dictionary, look up this word come, you will see B-A-N-D, and that's just the, uh, that's just telling you that's the verb, uh, the past them of this verb, okay? So bond is the past them. Okay, so when you want to use this conditional, when you want to use conditional, you just take the I and tack it at the end of the past them. So, this bond will become banda, banda, and that will mean if, if come. Okay, so uh, let's see here. I've made some example sentences here to show you guys how those will work. And, uh, Let's get to them. Okay. So our first example sentence, let me read it. It will be uh, Avada Avada Banda Nan Pore uh, Nan Poren. Avada Banda Nan Poren. Okay. So th this means if um, Avada is he, and then we have Vanda, which is if comes. So he, if he comes, Nan, I, Poren, go. So if he comes, I will go. And we talked about the future tense a little bit before. Uh, I believe it was in the, in the uh, last video. The future tense comes at the end. So here for I, since I'm talking about, oh no, no, not for I, but for him. For, it, for him, he, she, it, or I, the, the future tense will always come at the end. So here, uh, you have the future tense. It's right there. And this r, the r here is just the, it's part of the por, por, which is go. Okay? So that's the future tense there. And as you can see here, uh, we have banda, if. So as I mentioned before, the I is going to is going to be tacked on the end of this uh, of this verb. Now that's the initial letter, but it looks like this when you connect it with other verbs, or not with other verbs, but other consonants, I should say. So banda. So if he comes, if he comes, I will go. Banda. So that's pretty easy uh, for the conditional. You just take the I and then tack it on to the end of the past, the verbs past them, okay? Uh, what else do we have here? Let's look at the second second example. We have, ni, ni, sapida, ni, sapida, ni, uh, tu, is it ni, yeah, ni, tu, yeah, tu kame, <laughs> ni, tu kame. Okay, I spelled it right, okay, I thought I spelled it wrong. Ni tukame. 
so uh, ni sapida ni sa ni sapida ni uh, ni tukame tukame so ni will be you so ni sapida eat if you eat if you eat ni tukame you will sleep tukame so uh tukam by itself means sleep I've, I've written it i've written the word here tukam that means oh i forgot to tukam stop that so tukam means sleep so sap uh sap yes sap pida sap pida so sap do i've written somewhere up there sap do right here that means eat sap do sap do and then the past stem of that will be uh sap the sap sap so if you look it up if you look this if you look up back in the book back in the book i uh, showed you before it will be written like this sap and that's the, just the that's just the past stem. So all you would do is just add the I on the end. The uh, sapta. Okay. So uh, let's see. Sap, sapta. Okay. Uh, so that's yeah. So you just add the I on the end of that to get to, to, uh, to get the condition. Of it. it always will go. Well, as far as I know, for now. There possibly, it's possibly there may be some different way, but for now, I know for a fact that you add the I on the, on the end of the past step, and you will get the conditional. Okay. Now, um, I've also learned that there's a, there's a, uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I've also learned there's a, uh, there's another way for the conditional, but it's like in other dialects. I don't think they really use it that much in the Tama, but it's very common in different dialects. So this here, right here, a is aka, aka, aka. That means if also. But they say that it's very common in different dialects. So I'm thinking in dialects of the other Dravidian languages, you know, they will they will use like Malayalam, perhaps Malayalam, they will use uh, aka more than ah, okay? So our example sentence for that will be, where are we? Okay, here we go. So we got, nan, this is nan, bandaka, nan, sabtuve, sabtuve, nan, nan, uh, bandaka, or bandaka, nan bandaka, nan sabtuve, sabtuve. So nan I uh, bandaka, bandaka. If I come, so as you can see here, we still have our ban, but now we use aka. Same rule applies. It has to go in the end of the. Uh, the verb, the past stem of the verb. So, bandaka, bandaka, bandaka. And then you have, I, nan, sap, uh, sap to bed. I will eat. Okay. So, I will eat. Sap to bed. Sap to bed. So, uh, if I, see, if, if I come, I will eat. See if I come, I will eat. So nan bandaka nan saftuben. Okay. And again, our future tense is here. Future tense is here. So that's yeah, that's that's what it is there. So uh, that's a conditional. And if you want to incorporate this 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 uh, tense with the other things we have learned before, and go ahead, you can do that. Make some simple sentences using this uh, this conditional here. So just remember um, this um, aka. 
it's another conditional which is used more in uh, in the uh, different dialects. Okay. So uh, let's see. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything out here. Sapita. Okay. So that's going to uh, conclude this video here for this time of lesson. And uh, like I said, um, I'm learning Tamil. So if you see any of you guys who are native Tamil speakers, if you see any mistakes here or my pronunciation is off, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, let me know. And uh, I'll appreciate it. I'll, I'll be very much appreciated of that. So uh, this will conclude the video for the Tama lesson. Um, if you guys have any questions, just, uh, just send me a message and I'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, thanks for viewing the video.